Hi guys and welcome back on my channel Dorota Palicka International New Artist and Educator and today we are going to do a beautiful crystal placement uh, nail art. I hope you really enjoy it. Have a wee preview of it in here. So a blink always looks stunning and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! totally bling it up set. I think this is going to be the most bling set I have created. Uh, so I've got my tips ready in here and just on my mixing plate we are going to create uh, beautiful colors and this is going to be uh, some purple and pink, maybe a blue as well, just so we've got some kind of background. So I'm using a paint on French gel. Let me get two dots. Then we are going to use some so clean that out. Some color plus blue and red. So I've got some blue. And red. And you really need just a dot of those gels like uh, you have guys seen me working with this gel for such a long time like and I still got left them in pot. Now here I'm mixing a purple one so it's just blue and pink together to get a really nice shade of purple. Okay, so we have created three beautiful colors and we are going to use them on these tips. <coughs> Our old gel brush just to slap them in. So here I want some blue, purple and pink. <laughs> I love doing those kind of designs. <laughs> Especially when you've got the clients and you just starting doing like those kind of splashy colors and they look at you like oh my goodness what's she doing but the end results are going to be absolutely stunning okay so we have created the splashes of the colors and now using a sponge we are going to blend them in uh, so I'm just grabbing the scissors and the sponges, you can use any makeup sponges as long as you cut them. I wouldn't use this side, uh, it wouldn't give me a nice result. So I'm just going to cut my sponge. And then grab the foil, uh, the form. You could also use uh, sellotape as well for this part. And if you don't want to play with your fingers, of course you could hold it in the fingers. I'm just going to use the tweezer to hold this in the tweezer. So this is the cut part. Don't use the part which is slidey. Use the fresh cut part. Okay. Remove any fluff which might be on it. Look how much dirt is coming off. And that's what look really ugly on the nails. And then just go on the tip. Okay. And start blending this out. This is going to be a kind of random background which we great for this set. It, it's going to look really beautiful even on its own just like this and then we are going to bling it up like totally crazy. I think this is going to be definitely the most bling it out set I have ever done. And then I've got pink on the bottom, so I'm kind of swapping the angle which I'm using. And look, I'm not touching the skin which is there. So if I would be working on a client, I don't necessarily need to use the uh, protection tape or anything like that uh, on their skin. You can do it really uh, carefully without of touching their nail folds. And obviously when we're holding the client, we pull those folds down as well anyway. Then the next one. So here again I'm swapping the angle of the sponge. So when I'm holding a client I'm protecting their nail folds and look here you can clearly just touch the edges without of touching the skin. 
But if you're scared, you might touch the skin, then just apply a little bit of the liquid uh, latex, like a protection around the nail folds. Since the salons are allowed to open, um, I will be showing you those kind of designs because it's a summer coming and a salon on a real clients as well. Here I'm missing a bit more pink. So just let me grab those pink. And then cook it. Okay, so we don't need this part anymore. And our next step is to play with the design. So we are going to use uh, the base gel. And guys, I love how the base gel holds the crystals, like totally amazing. I have never issues with them coming off or, or things like that. And uh, let's see what kind of crystals I've got. Okay, they are nice. I really want to go crazy like and we are going to use a really large crystals <laughs> they quite nice as well okay let's open this ones I've got also another box We are going to use them, and them, and them, and all of them. <laughs> and then some larger ones. Gosh, everything. We are going to use absolutely everything what is possible on this set. Some caviar beads, larger, smaller, tiny ones. Cool. So let me move that, here we are, this goes away, perfect. And so we are going to apply first of all the base gel and for large crystals we need to uh, put a little bit more base and that's what I'm always starting with. So a little bit more base and the larger crystals. Like totally bling it up set. This one is pretty. They actually all pretty. This one is amazing. Wow. Okay, so we are going to start with this crystal here. And then we need something a little bit smaller to hold it in place. I wouldn't use uh, large crystals on this own because it will come off. Okay, so we have created a background here for this large crystal, so it's going to be much smoother. I kind of rest the large crystals on the smaller ones. It is really fiddly because if you apply the crystals uh, not nice and straight, it just doesn't look nice, uh, but it's worth the effect. <coughs> and then some smaller one, give it a flash cure. That's the thumbnail. So on thumbnail we can go crazy again. Yeah, why not? Go for something absolutely huge. Okay, so find the right place for it and give it a flash cure. Also grab the pinky 
and add more crystals. So I'm just going to clean the ring and put a base there. It will be much easier for me to apply it for a small crystal with the small brush. Okay, so caviar bead here, caviar bead there. I really could wear that on my nails, like it's going to be so stunning. Wow. This is really so pretty already and we just started with this set. So when you've got the day where you feel like you really need to chill out, I suggest you try this crystals placement. Give it a cook. Now the thumbnail is ready as well, so we can add some smaller crystals around it. And then something on the other side. That's nice. Cook it. And the pinky is almost ready. I'm just going to apply those smaller caviar beads just to kind of join the chain here. So one side, dip it in the caviar beads. I've got them there. And those small ones are my favorite ones just because you can do like a chain work with it. It would be absolutely expensive set to to do it just because it's so time consuming and so many crystals used. Now for a small caviar beads you don't want to put too much base and I find that the nicest results are if you kind of do a bit and then give it a flash cure so you would working like one hand, other hand and then keep swapping them. Here another crystal and what I'm also doing is around the edges I'm applying a little bit more base. Okay, just so nothing is catchy. Because if it is going to be catchy, it will really annoy your clients and they will eventually come off. And I think you cannot go wrong with the crystal placement. Okay, so in each of those empty spaces, I'm filling up some crystals to get a nice transition.
That looks so pretty, the chain. Okay, same on the other side. Pick up some caviar beads. And for this part, like, I really like to use the old brush. So the easier to move than with the gem picker. Check if it's even. I don't need this one. I really don't want to rush it. I wanted it to be beautiful. And then give it a cure. We're missing some chains in here as well. <clears throat> so I drop more of the base. Gem in here, gem in there. So with this extra base, we are protecting those large crystal. Ideally, something came to my mind. Ideally, you want to do it to the client, which is not going, uh, coming back for a rebalance after you have applied such a amount of the crystals. Gosh, they would cost fortune. Like in general, I charge one pound for a large crystals, 25 pence for a small crystal. So that would be really expensive set. Perfect. Give it a flash cure. The pink is ready. Like I, I think this is this is enough. It's so pretty. It's absolutely stunning. I want that on my nails. I really want that on my nails. My nails are ugly now. And top coat. I shine no white top coat. I'm going over those small caviar beads. Um, I'm always top coating them. And then if you struggle to use your large brush, uh, you could use a small brush to go around the crystals just to apply the top coat everywhere. Okay. And when you're close to the crystals, give it a little shake. So the top coat really goes around the crystals like everywhere in all those empty spaces. Come the free edge. And then this nail is completely finished. Absolutely amazing. I mean, of course, you could do it full set like this, just those uh, spongy background, and then two nails like that. Then they would be a bit cheaper, less time consuming. But I just wanted to go crazy and do the most bling it out set I have ever, ever done. So here, ideally, I feel like I'm needing some, some chain. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. No, or that. No, let's do that. So paint with the base, the place you want to have. Clean the excess of the base. You don't want too much when you're picking up your caviar beads. Then pick them up. And start placing them in. I find that working with the side of my brush is um, kind of easier. And this is too much. Perfect. To be honest, you don't risk they are going to move. I will just apply two or three on this side and then give them a cure. Okay. 
and then give it a cure. We can also take another tip out. And start designing it. So this is our middle finger. And I'm going to do the middle finger after those caviar beads. I think once you get uh, hang of it, like once you do a few caviar beads, uh, they become easier. You kind of get the technique and, and it's going quicker. And you guys obviously know this is cameraman biggest nightmare because <laughs> he feels like this is so boring. But I love it. Awesome. Give it a flash cure. And let's do this middle finger. So the middle finger, let me see this one. That's so pretty and we could create something similar on the middle finger. So quite a lot of base. And a huge crystal. Maybe this one. Okay, place it in there, keep the hand nice and straight. I always tell my clients to keep the hand straight. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, grab our thumbnail. One crystal there and a drop. So once you place those couple first crystals, you know where to place another ones. Gosh, this is so rich. Absolutely stunning. Cook it and this one will be ready as well. This one is cooked. So smaller crystals on the back. You can also apply a little bit base around it. Like you can see there is lots of base on these crystals, but you can just add an extra one around it. I've got one rose. <gasps> yes. Okay, we are going to put the rose in there as well. And this one's. I need to put away the top coat <laughs> and the rose. Perfect. I want the petals to go around this crystal. 
and then give it a flash cure. Okay, grab the thumb, which is completely ready, and apply the top coat. So high shine, no wipe top gel. And in here, like if it's needed, you could use a small brush. And quite often on the client, yes, I'm using a small brush just to make sure everything has the top coat around it. Give it a cure. I don't know, they look like a m magical <laughs> nails almost like because of the amount of the crystals. Let me put this pinky is totally ready. Wow, so beautiful. I will give them a clean at the end, like uh, with the wipe. Yeah, so beautiful. Okay. I think those colors of the crystals goes really well together as well. Now let's do this one. So I'm needing something there. And again, by placing those crystals, we make the rose to be smoother and not sticking out as much. Some caviar beads, one, two, three, four, five, six. They might be not visible from some angles, but they are from the other angles. Brilliant, give it a flash cure. And then the chains on the side. <laughs> okay, the farm is cooking. So on this two nails, I think we should go exactly the same. Um, just exactly the same. So let me see what I've got in doubles. Okay, I've got those two large crystals and I've got them as well. Okay. Place them and cook it. And 
do some chains in here. So I need a chain there. So because the caviar bits are so small, you can almost paint with them. That's why I love them so much. And if you would try to do it, those kind of chains with the larger uh, caviar beads, it would take you, first of all, too long time, because you would have to flash cure it almost after every single uh, caviar bead. They are uh, much bigger, so they're moving much more compared to the tiny ones. And I think this looks more delicate. I want to be really fussy, sorry guys. That's better. Awesome. Give it a flash cure. <coughs> When I'm putting those tips in, don't put them like in different angle like this. Put them nice and straight so the crystals don't move. Just making sure I've got two. And same on this one. We're almost done actually with this set. <laughs> so pretty, I want it on my nails. <laughs> okay, another chain in here. When you've got, <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys, when you've got too much uh, base gel on your brush, it's harder to pick up those caviar beads, like they don't come off as easy. So I have just cleaned it my brush. And now moving those caviar beads. And you could do anything with it, like totally anything. That's nice and pretty. So called base, base, base. Then another one. I feel like I'm missing some smaller crystals, so we are going to add a couple of them. But 
but here I've got some mix so I need to make sure I'm picking up the same sizes And if you don't know where to put where no if you don't know what to put in some spaces, the caviar bits are a perfect filler. Because they will squeeze in everywhere. That's pretty. I could squeeze five, could I? No, I can't. Okay, and then give it a flash cure. I finish this one with the chain and then it is going to be so beautiful. Like this side is so much nicer and I love the background which we have created for it. Okay, so this one is coming from here and going to the crystal. Clean excess of the base and paint with the caviar bits. And I think without of this chains, the, the snails wouldn't look so pretty. I hope you agree, guys, with me. And I know lots of you don't like caviar bits because they're so time consuming and they're so fiddly. But they give spectacular effect. Actually, I will be curious how much would you charge for this set as well. Write in the comments below how much would you charge for this set. I would probably give my client a discount. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't charge like... I would give them a discount probably. <laughs> So we had here and here something and here and here, if I'm right. I am right. Yes, I remembered it. So here, I think it just, um, the tip just tells you where is missing the crystals. It's saying like, fill me up, fill me up in here. Sorry, there we are, but this time I'm going to be better and I'm not going to put the caviar beads until the crystals cure because then it is pretty annoying to place them in, like maybe not annoying but more difficult, I'm just giving myself more work to do because they are keep moving then the crystals. There is no base. No, oh, come on. Behave. A flash cure. One more chain on this one, and then we've got three tips completely ready. Wow, it's so pretty. 
I don't know why I wasted this time to do it on a pressed on Niels instead of mine. <laughs> I mean, I didn't waste it the time. I enjoy it. Capra man's legs might get sore. <laughs> are they? Not yet. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's the first tutorial we are recording today. Uh, but we are going to have a full day of recording, guys, just to uh, catch up on the things. Because we have to still do the studio as well. So probably later on this week. We will record the beginning of it, like to show you how ugly this room is and what we will create with it. It will be all DIY work, do it yourself work. So it's going to be really time consuming. Yeah, but the plan is to record a few tutorials today, so it's going to be a really busy day. Okay, check the angle of the chain. You want it to be kind of same, so I've got one caviar bit too much. Take it out, take it out, take it out. And after that we are going to eat the breakfast. <laughs> I'm actually feeling hungry and I need another coffee. I'm horrible coffee drinker, guys. Like, I cannot live without of my coffee. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at this. And the camera, it looks even more amazing. Wow. Awesome. Cook it. Okay. So, caviar bits in here. Just four. Got two. Three. Get rid of the small one. Mm, okay. <laughs> no, come on. I'm very patient. Patient? Patient? Perfect. Flash cure it. Okay, what else we missing in here? I feel like we're missing those large crystals, just so everything goes with thin, like. And I love those uh, raindrops. We've got them also on the website as well. Plus some other crystals. Yeah, that's pretty. Caviar beads, so one in here, one in there, one in there, just to fill up those empty spaces, and one in there. I am jealous of this set, I am jealous. I want it on my nails. Like really, I want it on my nails. We will have to record a similar set. Gosh, my tummy keep rumbling. I hope you guys cannot hear it in the microphone. Cameraman and bought another microphone and this one is actually pretty good. I'm so happy with it because uh, we had so many noise issues on the previous one. Like it was destroying some of the videos and the hard work we put into the recording. Okay, cook it. This one is ready. Okay, top coat it. So high shine, no wipe top gel. And we've got another one ready. We could put caviar bit here and here as well, but I'm just going to leave it. And here. Oh, I should. Yeah, but I'm going to read the comments, guys, like to see how much you would charge for this set. And Probably after I finish recording, I would count those crystals uh, because I'm curious myself, like how much I would charge a client for it. I had to do this. Sorry, guys. I had to do this. It was screaming to me. Put a cover bit in there. And one more. 
here is so empty. It looks like a really oriental, I would say. Yeah, that's it. Okay, carefully in. What we've got in here? Okay, we have to do exactly the same. Fam is ready, so let me put the fam in there. Wow. Yeah, you also have to tell me, guys, like you also have to tell me, guys, which one is your favorite one, because I don't know. But I will count these crystals. I will. And I will write in a pinned comment, uh, actually, how many crystals was there and how much I would charge for it. But I want to see it, how much you would charge for it as well. So I've got some caviar bit here, here, and here, and here, and here, and here. So also when I'm putting those uh, larger ones, I tend to slide into the crystal side so it's easier to kind of stick them into the right place. Okay, two more, so one, two, that's as fab. And then just some chains on this ones and they are finished as well. So let's cook this one properly and the chain on this one. And without of those chains, they just don't look as nice. Like, I mean, look guys, like this one has a wee chain, this one doesn't. This one has a wee chain, this one doesn't. Like as much. You, <laughs> you didn't catch it? You didn't catch it? Okay, he didn't catch it. Okay, i show you again. So the ones with the chains are much nicer. <laughs> but like... So beautiful chain here like from one caviar bit to another caviar bit actually this, this brush was behaving better when it was not as damaged Okay, just move it, add one more, and then move them. And then give it a flash cure. Same on this one. So from one cover bit to another cover bit. Check it if it's matching with those. This one is ready, so that's our middle finger. This is so beautiful set. Gosh, I am jealous. I am really jealous. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so quickly do the chain here. Also guys, pretty please hit the share button so, so we can grow the channel a little bit uh, as well, like get a bit more subscribers. <laughs> I will really appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of you who keep sharing the channel all the time. Okay, concentrate on this one, just so it's kind of decent. Check it both sides. If it's matching, it's not too bad. Give it a cure. I actually, I am really curious how long it will take me to do this set on the client. So I'm going to check how long we took to record this video. And then I will know how big discount I could give it, or I shouldn't. Because it's all about how long the set takes you, to be honest, guys. So, and obviously the material, uh, the crystals aren't cheap, so. And this one I have... Um, seen it happening sometimes uh, as well like when you've got the clients coming in with their own crystals and they say like can you put it for free um, you have seen me guys like doing this set even and it takes ages so even if they bring their own crystals you would still charge them for the time uh, you have spent applying those crystals because it's really really time consuming Any kind of pretty design is time consuming. Cook it in. Oh, I've got two on this one. Cool. Should I give it something else or just leave it? I should do one here and here. Yes. Okay, just a small one, like really small. And quick job. I really wanted to go crazy like with this set, so. The most bling it out, the most time consuming, the most expensive set of the crystal nails I have ever done. I will have to take a nice thumbnail picture. Yeah, just a tiny one. I'm missing one more caviar bit, one more. Where are you? That's two. I need one. One. Oh no. I don't need you. Yeah, so obviously after an hour of applying the crystals, you start talking to yourself. I promise that this is the last chain. <laughs> I'm actually curious who is still here with me. Oh, that's so pretty. I didn't do it crystals for a long time, so. one there perfect almost okay that was the last last thing i have done it on this new so doing exactly <laughs> same on this one but they're pretty they're worth it they really are worth it like those little chains are amazing I like
like this stuff. I, I really enjoy it. Like, I think it makes me feel relaxed. Honestly, I could do it for hours on my own. I feel always more stressed if someone is watching me. Not I'm stressed that someone is watching me. I really don't mind. I like it. Uh, but it's just like I'm always stressed. Oh, maybe I take too long. Like, or, or they are bored of watching me <laughs> playing those caviar beats. Because uh, that's what cameraman always says. Like, it's so time-consuming. Uh, but that's the joys of working as a nail technician, you know. Um, some afternoon we spent like a few hours with cameraman sorting the the gems. I will actually show you them as well, guys, when this tip is curing. So we spent... Do you remember? Like a few hours, honestly, a few hours where I have uh, emptied all my gold... Uh, gold kind of rose gold uh, bits and pieces for a nail art and we have separated them and put into the different boxes i will show you it what we did and i love this part like even when i'm cleaning my glitters okay let me just quickly concentrate on this one no come on behave one more. What they say, you need patience of the saint. <laughs> it's not straight, sorry. One more. I wanted it to be pretty. Not rushed. That's it. Is it? Yes, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. No more. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> okay, so just applied the top coat and I show you the crystals which we have sorted uh, in a separated boxes. Okay, I should maybe put one more there. <laughs> no, I'm not going. A caviar bit at least. Just a single one. No, I need just a single one. Just a single one. Cook it. And the same on this one. was feeling empty here. Top cut. Oh, top cut is on this one. Top cut. it and then I can show you guys final look what we have created today and also those um, those beads so we have spent like all afternoon they was all mixed like and all in different boxes so we have just separated them like a Cinderella you know sitting for an hours and and separating them because uh, I had some spare empty boxes I don't like them um, because they're hard to open I prefer those um, those rounded pots uh, much easier but uh, yeah, it took us hours to sort them out, uh, but I've got them all nicely, different types separated now and they are so easy to use. Uh, so I love it, those kind of uh, stuff like sitting, you know, and you can have a chat and then <laughs> chill out doing a Cinderella work. Okay, this tip is ready. So a drop of the blue tack. 
I love this set, it's so pretty. I do really love it. Wow, it's so amazing. Oh, a tiny bit more blue tuck. And then we're going to eat the breakfast. <laughs> Actually, I've got different backgrounds. No, that was correct. So here. Here. And the last one. That's so pretty. And I can assure you guys, those crystals are going to last, like, uh, even if it would be on a client. Of course, yeah, ac by accident, maybe a single one can be lost, but in general, they stays on. Absolutely amazing with this technique. And then take a clean wipe, because you can see after touching with your dirty fingers, there are some marks, on, oh, especially here, the marks on the crystal. So I'm always taking a wipe and I give them a clean, like a proper clean, before taking any pictures and before sending clients uh, home. So even a cuticle oil doesn't look nice, uh, but look at this beauty. Wow, it's amazing. I love this set. And we've got one, two, no, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 42, 43, 44, 45, say, say about 35 large crystals, so straight away 35 plus the caviar beads, probably about 40 for a 5, oh my goodness, 80 pound for a full set on top of the set, so we're talking about on the tips, the basics, 120, sculpted on the forms, 135 uh, uh, pounds, it would be, that's what I would charge for this full set, but I'm curious how much you would guys charge it, so let me know down in the below, let me know down in the comments below, I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks, and bye for now.